All right, welcome back. So now that we know how to talk about the second derivative, specifically concavity and inflection points, I wanna to return to an old idea, interpreting the graph of the derivative. And this time we're just going to feature concavity and inflection points and talk about how we can get that information from the graph of the derivative specifically. At the end of this video, I'll also show you a graph of the second derivative and talk through that very briefly if you're interested in what that looks like. So let's start with a graph here. I'm gonna say this is the graph of the derivative of f prime of x, and I'll label some points to help us out. So we're gonna ask a bunch of questions about the original function f based on this graph of its derivative. So to review some old concepts, let's first talk about where the original function is increasing, decreasing, has a local max and a local min, based on the graph of the derivative. Why don't you pause and try to find this information out on your own, figure out where the original function is increasing, decreasing, has a local max and a local min. All right, so let's go through these four things. I'm gonna go through it pretty quickly because I've covered this in a previous video and I wanna to get to the concavity and inflection points. So increasing is where the original function is above the x-axis. So that's from negative three to negative one and from three to infinity. Decreasing is where the graph of the derivative is below the x-axis. So that's from negative infinity to negative three and from negative one to three. Remember, increasing is a positive derivative, so that's the above the x-axis, and decreasing is a negative derivative, so that's below the x-axis. Then we have a local maximum whenever the derivative changes from positive to negative, so it'd be like increasing and then decreasing. So I'm seeing that happens at negative one. We change from a positive to a negative. We cross from above the x-axis to below the x-axis. Then for local min, this occurs when we change from a negative derivative to a positive derivative, so from below the x-axis to above the x-axis, from decreasing to increasing. So I'm seeing that this happens at x equals negative three and at x equals positive three. So this is just a little bit of review to get us started. So hopefully we haven't forgotten how the graph of the derivative can help us understand the behavior of the original function. So what we have that is new is that we wanna know where the function is concave up and concave down. Remember, we have the graph of the derivative and we wanna use it to help us find this information about the original function. So remember, concave up means the second derivative is positive. The second derivative is the derivative of the derivative or the slope of the derivative. A similar train of thought will follow for the concave down version. So concave down occurs where the second derivative is negative. The second derivative is the slope of the derivative. So we're looking for where the slope of the derivative, that's this graph, where this graph has a negative slope. So this is the graph of the derivative and it has a positive slope from negative infinity to negative two and from one to infinity. So the positive slope of the derivative is where the function is concave up, the original function. Then the original function is concave down when the slope of the derivative, that's this graph, is negative. So this graph has a negative slope from negative two to one. And so this is where the original function is concave down. So we can also ask where the inflection points occur so remember, inflection points occur where the second derivative is equal to zero or it's undefined. And we're thinking of the second derivative as the slope of the derivative function. So here we're looking for where the slope of the derivative, that's this graph, the slope of this graph, is zero. So we have two places here where the slope is zero, that is at x equals negative two and x equals one. So these locations are our inflection points of the original function. Wild, right? So the maximums and minimums on the graph of the derivative are the inflection points for the original graph. Pretty cool, but I do know it can be a lot to get our heads around at first, so you might have to just revisit these things a few times before they really feel solid in your brain. Now to close off the video, I just wanna talk about what we could interpret from the graph of the second derivative. So I'm gonna draw just a simple shape here for our second derivative. Let's say this is f double prime of x, and we'll label some points to help us out. So let's say if I have this graph of the second derivative, I wanna know where is f, the original function, concave up and concave down. So remember, now we have the second derivative rather than the graph of the first derivative, and the original function is concave up when the second derivative is positive. Positive would mean that this graph was above the x-axis. 
And we do a similar thing for concave down. So concave down is where the second derivative is negative. This is the graph of the second derivative. So we just wanna know where are its outputs negative that's below the x-axis. So I'm seeing that it has positive outputs from negative infinity to negative three and from two to infinity. So that's where the original function is concave up. And the graph of the second derivative has negative outputs from negative three to two. So this is where the original function is concave down. And we could label the inflection points as well. So inflection points occur where the second derivative is zero or undefined. We have just locations here where it's equal to zero, meaning the outputs of the graph are zero. So ours are at x equals negative three and x equals two. Awesome, well, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully this helped you understand a little bit how to interpret the graph of the derivative for concavity and inflection points. And I will talk to you in the next one.